Hey, so check that out, yo. My wife wants me to go to the store. It's Valentine's. Oh, that ain't a car, bro. That's more like a good old fashioned Texas iceberg, man. So, um, you know, husband's gotta do what a husband's gotta do. So, I ain't gonna drive. I'll walk, walk with me. So, here we go. We've got some uh, sleet, freezing rain, some snow flurries. It's about 20. Like I said, it's Valentine's. Tomorrow we're off. It's President's Day. Oh my gosh. And I got to be careful, man. I am like, forgive me. I'm slipping and sliding here on this sidewalk. It's, it's a, uh... <laughs> this is bad, man. Um, hey, but like I said, man, what the wife says, you do. You know what I'm saying? And <laughs> she wanted me to drive. Good luck with that. Uh, so where was I, man? Yeah, let's talk about the weather. Uh, tonight, it's supposed to drop down into the single digits with the wind chill in, um, in the negatives. Can you believe that? For you folks watching up north, you might be uh, thinking I'm just a big dork, but for uh, us South Central Texas boys, when I say negatives, man, that's for reals, <laughs> okay? Uh, it's gonna be in the wind chill in the negatives, snow of upwards of four to six inches. That's like a, it's like a blizzard for me, man. That's a, that's a real blizzard. You know, so uh, that leads me to an important point. And uh, you know, in class, we talked about uh, El Nino and La Nina. You know, so they had these fluctuations, right? And they're all over the world. Uh, but I'll talk about South Texas. What does El Nino and La Nina do to South Texas? When you have El Nino cycles, you tend to have a lot of humidity, right? And you know what humidity does? When you have humidity, it, it, it buffers or regulates the temperature right so uh, a good regular old-fashioned you know El Nino uh, cycle you know two or three years you'll get a lot of rainfall you know you know every couple years we get those almost like a monsoon season you know that's El Nino and then the winters because the temperatures are regulated you know humidity uh, the winters are typically real real uh, mild so you might have a morning or two with some frost on your car but you rarely hit below freezing here in san antonio with el nino that brings us to la nina she's a mean one la nina uh la nina whoop, takes away all of our humidity again it fluctuates throughout the world but that's what she does here it takes away our humidity so you see these uh greater temperature fluctuations so like Check this out. Think about this past summer we had. The, the summer was kind of historic, man. We had temperatures of 108, 110 all throughout August. You know, it was brutal. My uh, my yard died. <laughs> the, the drought was kind of kind of historic as well. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so that was the the summer side of the coin with La Nina, right? But then with that buffer gone, with humidity kind of reduced that leads us to winter and what we have right here right now with these all-time record lows like this is really historic man this is this is weird stuff all right so record low um la nina you know what i mean so that brings me to one last little thing here i'm slipping some more man and <laughs> she wanting me to drive good gosh one last thing and that's climate change right you know, and it's a hot topic, and it's a topic that people like to debate, and I, and I get it, you know. But, uh, you know, some people speculate if, if uh, climate change has a role with increased wildfires and increased hurricanes. And those are good discussions to have. And I bring that up here right now because the question is also, does, does climate change have an increased role with making these La Nina, El Nino cycles more drastic? So like, in other words, when you have a El Nino in full effect, when we get these monsoon and floods, are they, are they greater floods than typical? You know what I'm saying? Uh, and then on the flip side, when La Nina comes around, we get these droughts. Are they, are they more hysteric? Hysteric? Well, I guess they're hysteric. Are they more historic than, than previously? You know what I'm saying? And uh, this weather, is this an extreme? So, again, I don't have the answers, and I'm not sure you're gonna get clear answers. That's why they have these debates and that, that's why you have 
climatologists and biologists and all sorts of experts out there who sit around and, and ponder and debate and look at data and trends. Uh, you know what I mean? Um, but like I said, this is historic. I'll straight up say it, man, in my 44 years of living, I can almost certainly say this is the most drastic and extreme La Nina cycle I've ever seen in my lifetime. Like I said, we went from 110 to 10 <laughs> within six months. Can't beat that. So um, I'm walking real slow here, guys, and I'm, I'm making progress down to the corner store. So uh, hey, man, God bless. Enjoy your Valentines. Be good to your mamas. Enjoy your President's Day. And uh, hey, man, chances are we'll be off on Tuesday because of uh, you know inclement weather and road closures. So look forward to seeing you guys on Zoom. And hey, man, if it snows, make a memory. All right, peace out. This is Bindley. Enjoy your evening. Bye-bye.